New York City vandals graffitied an insulting anti-monarchy slur on a famous monument the day after the Queen's death. Her Majesty passed away on September 8 at the age of 96 at her beloved Balmoral Estate in Scotland. But while mourners, not just in the UK but across the wider world, were paying their respects to the monarch, and e royalists across the pond daubed an expletive insult to Elizabeth II. In New York, surveillance camera footage captured the moment four suspects, two women and two men, defaced Wall Street's famous charging bull statue with an insulting slur. They wrote, fought the Queen. Footage showed them walking through Manhattan at 2.30 a.m. on September 9, the day after the Queen's passing. New York vandals graffiti F the Queen on Monument Day after Monarch's death. Image, Getty slash at NYPD, the New York Police Department is now appealing for information about the four suspects. They used a paint marker type instrument to deface the monument, according to the force. This, the NYPD added, was applied to the bull's forehead. The graffiti has since been removed but the suspects have not been captured. Read more, Charles Nightmare as Australian protesters burn flag graffiti on the New York Monument. Image, at NYPD, graffiti is a class A misdemeanor in New York. Those convicted of such could be forced to serve up to a year in jail. There is the possibility of vandals also being made to pay fines and removal costs. Read more, Meghan and Harry's decision to bring Archie and Lilibet to UK, reveal, Prince William adorably pulls faces at baby and crowds watched by Kate, report, Kate's sweet words as Prince William and Harry reunited, insight, the four suspects. Image, at NYPD, trending elsewhere, those for whom the Queen's passing has inspired a desire for change, not mourning, have chanted against the monarchy and, in some cases, burnt the Union flag. In Australia, protesters this week demanded that their country withdraw from the Commonwealth while, in Parliament, an official service was held in honour of Her Majesty. In Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Canberra, protesters gathered, thousands in some areas, according to ABC Dash to demonstrate against a day of mourning announced by the Prime Minister. Charging Bull Monument. Image, Getty, but the government has insisted now is not the time to raise questions about our constitution. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said this period is a time to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II and to show deep respect and admiration. He added that a referendum on the monarchy would not be held in his first term in office, 